So walk into Damon. Okay, so I will leave you guys for, for a moment. All right, lads. All right, what did Kevbo say? I mean, it's not really scary, at least not like modern horror games. It's more creepy, super uneasy, atmospheric. It's a great, it's great for the $1 game, not trying to be toxic, okay. Just waiting for No One Lives Under the Lighthouse. Wellerman, easy top 10. What's your favorite sea shanties? I like any sea shanty that isn't just that they brought a boat to shore. I can't remember. What the? That's freaking TikTok sea shanty that's been played to death. It, I, I hate it. Yo, I hate it. Re hate that song so much. The Billy O Sea, that's the one. Billy O Sea. All right, guys. This has been. Uh, this was uh, brought to you by Bot. Thank you very much, Bot, for the uh, the gift. I hope that I do this game service. It's funny how the third segment kind of slowly crept towards being a horror segment. All right. First things first. Please, please. Yes. Thank you. <laughs> um. Ba -ba 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 -ba. 
hard pixels on, smooth camera off, I think. I just tried it and I didn't like it. Yeah, this is better. Don't even use TikTok and I'm glad. Well, I don't use TikTok either, but I'm on Instagram and it's basically the same thing. This game is about actually doing the duties of a lighthouse keeper and seeing what goes on. You know what's a great song? I want to marry a lighthouse keeper. Live by the side of the sea. Alright, we're going under the lighthouse. Oh, hello. Oh, there's nothing here. I'll just turn around since there's nothing here, actually. Okay, we'll just walk back. There's nothing there, don't worry about it. I'm just gonna write that down in my, my little book here. That there's nothing under the lighthouse. Case solved. Case closed. Nothing under the lighthouse. You just saw that. I can I can stop now, honestly. See what playing one freaking game with not inverted controls does to me? It makes me look at the ceiling. So is there is there any point in Oh, I can run. Oh, that, no, sorry, that's just zooming in. I, I'd love Drunken Sailor to be honest with the old sea dogs. I don't know, I don't know the lyrics, but I know this, the, the tune. Do, 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 do. Oh, we do be cranking. Oh, we do be cranking. That's a good crank right there, bud. Oh, yeah. You guys, is it too loud? It's a bit too loud. So I assume that that um, weight uh, turns this, but I'm gonna have to. It's not lit. How does one light it? Oh, there is a run button. I wish this was happening at night. It'd be sipping. I'd be sipping run and be intense. Yeah, I'm sorry. I, I wish I could do night streams, but they're just not doable for me. Oh, here we go. Do I need oil? Rope? Bombs? Oil? I have it all, friend. Was I supposed to go and get that oil? This is almost, like, at the bottom now. There's a lot of endings. Okay. So, oh, oh, here we go. There you go. Okay. I, I, I'm slowly figuring it out. Uh, excuse me? Was that in here? Where was that? 
Lamp oil, rope, bombs, you want it? It's yours, my friend. As long as you have enough rupees. Let's make a reference to the... <laughs> How can you not appreciate that classic reference? There you go. Sorry, Link. I can't give you credit. Come back when you are a little, mm, richer. Why did the light go out? Previous keeper disappeared. I suppose he ran away on a boat, left the duty of his, the bastard. Now there's no one on the island. The beacon is lit. Isengard calls for aid. But you look like you know the job, do you? You should light its lamp on the evening and she'd come it, uh, keep it working until the sunrise. You also should keep it clean all round, especially the lens itself. The establishment will end ye an assistant soon, and I'll get it back here in a week. Good luck. Don't lose your mind round the loneliness. Oh, from. Rum. What was the film called about the lighthouse with Patrick per Peterson called? It was called The Good Lighthouse with Patrick Peterson. Hello, bird. I kind of like love games that look deliberately shoddy like this. I really appreciate this as, a, as an aesthetic. I don't know what to call it. Crusty? Pat the sea pigeons? I don't have sea- I don't have pigeon gloves, Neville. I haven't unlocked that upgrade yet. Can we say this is sponsored by me? Sure. This- this stream sponsored by bot. PS1 era graphics are awesome. That's it really is what it is. It's PS1 graphics because it's that like um, Well, we don't have like the texture scaling effect, but we do have like this Un-anti-aliased effect going on. I think the only thing that's missing to make it feel a bit more like a PS1 game is like a fog Which would be really fitting actually just to ensure that the uh, the rest of the game can render this is quite a lot of, uh, rendering that we're doing right now. Be surprised about the number of games in this style? Oh no. Oh, I know. I was- that was my era. That was my time. You bought it for him. Thanks again for doing so, bot. This is a great choice. This is a great choice. I, I appreciate this. This kind of fits perfectly into place for the third segment. Because it's a little bit, uh... It's atmospheric, it's a little bit uh, eerie, and it's a bit of a walking sim as well. Uh, I hope I don't spoil the mood a little bit with my, my, you know, content creator bit. Uh. 
Oh, that's truly repugnant. <laughs> Yo, is that some bacon? Yo, my dude. We got some bacon. Ugh, stop stepping in it. <laughs> Kind of spooked me a little bit. Is this Minecraft 2.0? Not even close. As long as you scream like a little girl at the tiniest hint of danger, it's good. Fam. Squish. Squish. Do your duty. Keep the place clean. Wait a minute. Can I actually clean the place? Like, can I get a mop and bucket? Oh, yeah. Thank you. I, I would have missed that. Can I equip that? Like, do I still have the broom? Yeah, nice. Minecraft. I wish you could give you games, but I can't because be on your name. Oh, politics can't even buy games. Gamers rise up. What the? What are you talking about? I need to have a policy for people gifting me games. I don't have one now, so I'm kind of playing it by ear, but do you know... that I should go get the the lamp huh should I check under the lighthouse where's the oil thing oh, it's, it's locked All right. well, we don't need to do that then I don't have the broom anymore. I guess the broom stays with the door. Uh, did I forget my suitcase by the dock? I'll go get it. Is it already too late? Did I already mess up like two seconds into this game? What's this? I can't seem to take any of this stuff. Oh, I can't, you can't buy Steam games because it's your country? I'm pretty sure if you buy a game on, like, Humble Bundle or an aggregate key site, although I don't really condone that, so I don't know. It looks dope. New shader packs hit the hardware bad. Hey, uh, did the dock just disappear? Oh no, it's here. There you go. All right. Don't worry, lads. I, I remembered my suitcase. Did Steam restrict Russians from using it? I don't think it's even a Russian thing. It's just that you can't buy a game for someone. Like, you can't gift someone a Steam game because of the, of the currency exchange. It 
Guys, I have more iced coffee right now and it's it's hitting good. There is a best ending if you find every secret. Well, that's not happening. I, I, I like almost missed a basic thing like, you know, my suitcase was gone. All right. That's that, huh? All right, let's tend to the lighthouse. You can't pay for games in any way on Steam if you're using Russian IP. That's bizarre. I mean, I get it. So I don't know where the thing is. Don't stress if you miss something, you'll you'll get an ending anyway. Okay, I gotcha. I like how the left side of the uh, the glass and the lamp is like barely even visible. Like you can't really see the edge of it. Looks like I'm gonna have to go get some oil. Oops, didn't mean to do that. Let me guess, that uh, trap door is going to be open now. finish about your politics on gifting you games. Uh, I mean, like, I don't have a policy. That's really the, the end of that. Alright. Lighthouse maintained. I think the first thing I'm gonna probably lay down rule I have to lay down is if it's a um, if it's a game you think that is very fitting for my channel meaning something I would play as a let's try probably don't give it to me but just recommend it to me because I could probably bug the uh, publisher for a key before anyone spends money on it oh man I looked at that I like I like picked that up or tried to to do something to it. Um, what? It reveals a different aspect of what's going on along with each potential outcome and they're all pretty interesting. It's what makes this game nice. Wanted to give you a little try game. We'll, 
Lovecraft isn't a good author, but I hope you'll still enjoy it. Tomorrow I might buy a first edition book by H.P. Lovecraft. Wow. First edition? That's gotta be... Like... Is it... First... Really? First edition. Um, should I go down to where that boat is and check it out? Also, sh do I need to wash this? Did you notice that black stuff wasn't there when you came in and then went from the door to your bed like something came in and stared at you as you slept? Well, I did notice that, but I kind of assumed... Oh, what's this? Nothing? I kind of assumed it was like my own mess. Like I had, I had made that mess. Oh, I, I can't see anything at all actually. Ugh. Scary bird. Agree, he wasn't a good person, but I do like his books. Lovecraft fans are um, probably the most civil about how problematic H.P. Lovecraft is. We're, we're like... It's, it's a really strange time to be alive in a lot of ways. Like, we really have to come to terms with uh, a lot of our most influential creators having really um, unfortunate viewpoints. How do you come to terms with that? Do you accept it? Do you deny it? Do you move on? How do you heal? You know, like, I think it's worth acknowledging it's impossible to ignore I mean even some of my favorite um, authors are, are you know kind of stuck in their viewpoint okay well this is bad all right can you follow the muck further I can try. I'm not even talking about how bad he is personally, I'm just talking about how he writes. It's a language for sure. I mean, it's like Shakespeare. Um, I'm not, that. I don't mean that as a compliment. I mean like, I can't read Shakespeare stuff because I, I just find the, the, the language so difficult to parse that I don't understand what is being said. So I find it really, really hard to, to kind of understand. I know there are books that basically decipher um, Shakespeare. Can I take this broom outside? I wanna clean up some of this stuff. I guess I should put this in the chest. I'm not supporting him. No, I, I, that, yeah, I'm not, uh, oh. No, don't get me wrong at all. I'm not, uh, I'm not talking about anyone in chat, basically. I'm talking about, like, Lovecraft fans. Uh, but also, like, fans of creators that it's like fully acknowledged that they're not, they're not okay, you know? Okay, so we have the muck. I'm following the muck. Kinda looks like it stops there, but maybe it goes into these rocks.
No. I've never read Lovecraft. <laughs> uh, I'm saying that's that's pretty funny. It's like that meme I keep seeing uh, from the you know the hard drive website or whatever. It's like Lovecraft fan hugely excited to read their first Lovecraft book. Um, can someone tell me if I'm missing something with the muck? Because it looks like I'm not seeing any more muck. It looks like it goes into the rocks here and then just kind of stops. Or am I supposed to be following it from the opposite direction? Oh, that was... Yo, none of the other textures does that. It's just this one here. Is this rock... Was this rock here before? I guess they all do kind of do that, just not as aggressively as that one. Okay, hey, let's um let's try and follow the muck. Let's assume it goes that way. How about that? Well, I'm assuming it climbed up the cliff, Kevbo. Or sorry, Neville. I'm honestly assuming it's in the lighthouse. <sighs> you know, there's an interesting thing to me about... And I am just going to straight up call this a horror game. I'm sorry. Um, horror games which force the players to do repetitive tasks. There's something really interesting about that. Like, it, it, there's something extra scary about having to do something you've already done. Oh, good. Um, because it's like, you know, having to do it again, kind of, um, Kind of means that there's room for uh, something to happen. Now, don't I have to clean the the windows? It seems to me something um, doesn't like the lighthouse to be on. Uh, so let me let me let me come back to uh, my thought. Um, consider uh, PT if you if you guys have played played PT. You walk down a down a hallway over and over again, and every time you do, it's a little bit different. There's something in the repetition of something that makes horror extra spooky. Um, I didn't really notice the muck on the walls. Also, 
I see the rope was destroyed. Do I no longer have the cloth? I guess I'm gonna have to go get the, um, the rope. Oh, the muck even covered the window. I'm assuming uh, lighting the lighthouse was actually not a very good idea. Mark wasn't there when you went out to clean the glass. Oh, Jesus. Um, I'm assuming I need something to fill the bag with. Like, the bag was destroyed, right? Okay, so we have another bag. All right, cool. So we can repair the lighthouse. Now I'm going to walk up to that lighthouse and it's going to turn off, isn't it? Honestly, color me surprised. I wish I could crank it up first and then tie the thing on. Uh, this is a little bit spooky, I won't lie. working. I don't understand. Oh, do I need two of them? I love skating, of course. I like his books and do read his books too, but I'm definitely not cool. I tried to read a um, Lovecraft book and I failed. Like, it's, it's a really um, archaic language. more than one big bag on the rope before it got cut. Okay. Uh, I have to go get another one. I tried to grab, like, more than one.
Oh. No! No! Okay, so what the heck do I do now? I'm just going to read chat for a minute. Can I, do you think I can leave? Probably not, right? No, I can. So that was pretty spooky, right guys? chat is just dead silent about what just happened there. Three out of ten spookiness? Is that what? Am I seeing something down there? What am I seeing? Jesus.
more muck. Yo, it's it do be raining though. I like them rain vibes. Guys, how creepy is a thunderstorm out of 10? More muck. Stop mucking about. But that's what I do best. Oh wait, I, f I think I forgot all the lanterns and stuff. I really like that extra detail of seeing the lightning before hearing the thunderstorm. Where's the, uh, the oil can? Did I leave it in the lighthouse? Thunderstorms are only two out of out of ten, so they are slightly spooky then. Only slightly, zero out of ten. Apparently, I'm gonna need a shovel. I wonder why I'm gonna need a shovel, guys. Um, why do you think I'm gonna need a shovel? Is that guy always around? Like is he always like is he always somewhere random? Only one way to find out. Back to where he was. This is a really aggressive thunderstorm. Oh. I don't remember this being here. Ah. Oil can. Should I have found a, um, a key? Like, for the chest? This is super aggressive rain, my dudes.
When you look up, it's it's really trippy. It has slots for coins. Yeah, there's two more slots. I need to find two more coins. sound. Well, at least I don't have to get the bags again. I kind of want to just see if there's anything down here. Well, I guess I'm going to have to fill up the can anyway. Honestly, really grateful I can't go down that trap door. Really don't want to go down that trap door. <laughs> you can't say my dude isn't um, persistent. Because he's like, I've been chased by a monster twice and been harassed by like an army of insects or whatever the heck those things were. And I'm just going to keep doing my duties as the lighthouse keeper. Maybe check the basement for coins. I did check the basement. Did I check it good enough? broken no way off the island. This is true. What happened to this thing? Oh, cool. The light is out. Why is... why did the light go out? What is happening? Now it's turning, but the light is out. So I guess I have to get more oil. I don't know why the lamp is out. Hmm. Yeah. Kinda hate this.
Assuming I need more oil. Um, my lamp is actually out. Yo, I hate it. God. <laughs> yeah, let's just continue our task, shall we? I hate this. I'm not bored. I'm just not commenting. Have I already... Oh. That doesn't sound normal. That sounds like we're going backwards in time, actually. What is this? What did I just get? Something on the roof. I haven't have I missed any coins? I'm just like a little bit paranoid about that. No oh, good fog. You moved those oil canisters down into the basement yourself, right? Yeah. There's something in the window? How did I miss that? I completely missed what, what was in the window.
Am I missing like half the spooky stuff in this game? I just want to fix my roof in peace, my dude. Three of the coins are pretty easy to find, but one of them involves the shovel and multiple digging attempts on obvious dirt pile spots later on. There was something moving in the window. I did not see it at all. That was inside my house, wasn't it? Well, at least I more or less have my place fixed up again. Where's my lamp? Am I going to go have to dig it up again or something? I am very much falling asleep. That's fair. water was not this high before, right? Is it because the moon is high? No, that doesn't make sense. Do I have to, can I cross this? No, I can't. All right, well, if they buried my uh, lamp, they win because I can't get it back now. Gavin. Be prepared, we're playing a spooky game. It's a spooky game. Oh, there's my lamp. Nice of the monster to put my lamp back. And to fill it up with oil as well. 
Uh, also nice of the uh, creature to leave my music on. I definitely did not turn it on today. Was there something here for a split second, or was that my imagination? Well, you know what I'm going to say, right? I hate this. I don't understand what just happened. So it's one of those parts. Yeah, I hate this. He didn't even look behind him when the noise started. Previous keeper disappeared. What? I died? Oh. Oh, this is cool. Jesus. 
see if he died? I honestly thought you were just scared. I, I mean, I didn't really want to look behind me. Something's chasing you, you don't necessarily want to, like, look at it. You know? You want to run from it. I don't even, I don't want to see what it, what's chasing me. I think I'm uh, detecting a theme here. Are we jumping down there? That's a big old no on that part. Oops. I'm on my way to an ending. How could I have avoided this fate? Moth. Uh, was that the ending, Kevbo? Did I just see an ending? <laughs> Me falling down that chasm? plays multiple lighthouse keepers during the cores of this game. Really? I haven't actually connected that dot. I see. Was this open before? I don't think it was. Up there, that's the chasm death ending, sure. And you could have avoided the hole while being chased to get another ending. Oh. Oh, I see. Am I on the, am I at, like on the path to a bad ending or just an ending? I would be worth, uh, I would be willing to play this game again for a different ending. I feel like I was getting, I was doing all right, except for that last part. There, there used to be a town here. Not a town, just a church. game doesn't really have a bad ending, just different endings that reveal a little more or a little less hints about what's going on.
This is so nice compared to what what the, this place has been looking like. So there there did used to be like a little town here. The last CDDA character was a uh, lighthouse keeper. Oh. Now we're back to Dismal Gray. Let the power of Christ... Uh, something, something. The sun is no longer visible and the lighthouse is still unlit. Where has the new keeper gone? Well, I guess I could have figured out that you play as multiple lighthouse keepers, because, like, this seems to be in the past. Seems, like, very obviously in the past. Can go down there. Oh. Why can't I pick up my uh, lantern? Not gonna play the whole game? I'm gonna play the whole game. I'm not, uh... I don't dislike this at all. It is a bit spooky. Oh. I appreciate the that this game is definitely going for spooky vibes, but not jump scare vibes. Like, it's not uh, a horror game, as like you guys are saying. Yeah, that was some crunchy sounds right there. Oh yeah. Get that gorp. Get that there glop. Here you go. Here you go, creature. I feel like this is one of those games that's going to have multiple interpretations. I can I can put it there. What?
So I'm in the past again. And now I'll return you your regularly scheduled lighthouse. Uh, I don't really... I guess I'm, I'm gonna be heading towards the light. Is this when I need the shovel or is that is the time for that long gone? Are you willing to try out Lunacid? Kingsfield inspired RPG when it comes... Uh, I, I'd be willing to try it, yeah. I might, uh, I might try and hit up the dev. Oh, well, I have the shovel. I'm assuming I have to go to where that, uh, those grave, gravestones were. the only one. Oh god. Creepy. There's nothing else in there. For the living know that they shall die, but the dead know not anything, neither have they uh, any more a reward for the memory of them is forgotten. Okay. That sure sounds like my kind of banging, or the banging I've been hearing the whole game. No, you need the shovel when you see loamy piles of dirt spotting the island. Lose your mind from loneliness. He that sacrifices unto any god save unto the Lord only, he shall be utterly destroyed. Good good talk. Good good to know, fellow. Freaking rated R stream. I, I just meant that that sounds like the kind of banging I've been hearing through, through the whole kind of game. Sounded eerily familiar. He sets an end to darkness and searches out all perfection. The stones of darkness and the shadow of death. Don't lose your mind from the loneliness. We have a well house. You're never alone if you have a well house.
Drunk spaghetti time. A double-minded man is unstable in all his ways. Y'all do like to speak in, like, absolute gibberish riddles, huh? And unto man he said, Behold the fear of the Lord, that is wisdom, and to depart from evil is understanding. Shovel. Not shovel no more. That is not a shovel. What was that? Okay. Oh god. No. <laughs> I don't like this. I'm unhappy right now. I'm very unhappy. I'm trapped. Oh god, I'm dead. I don't know what to do. No! Oh, I can't run anymore. Is it afraid of this thing? Oh god. This game was made by a Ukrainian dev? What do I do? I hate this. What do I, I, I don't know where I'm going. It all looks exactly the same to me.
It all looks exactly the same. Find all the coins, apparently. I have four coins. I'm hoping that that's all the coins I need. It's part oh god. Okay, all right. We're just we're just going to be running. We're running now. All right. Cool. Oh no. I keep not doing what I need to do. I don't know where I'm going. Shoot. I keep taking the wrong turn and I don't know where I'm going. Oh, put the symbols in the matching stone things. Well, matching stone things where? Like, are you talking about these things? Because I don't know how to... Like, I, I can't put them in there. Well, let me. I feel like I need to get over there, because then there's a ramp down there. Oh, God. All right, here we go. Okay, we're taking a left here. Oh, no, no, no. I finally found it. Oh, come on. I got really close. Am I gonna have to start from scratch? I am. Oh man, that's kind of frustrating. I kind of don't like that a lot. <sighs> Not that way. Three. Can't run anymore. Yeah, 
Yo, can we stop? Oh no. You can hide on the sides of those platforms. You can hide on the sides of those platforms. What do you mean, like, here? You can hide. How do I hide? Like... Like this? Like a, like here? Oh, I see, like here. No, I didn't know I can hide because that hasn't really been introduced to me. Okay. I get it now. Thank you. I I really didn't know that. I didn't have that figured out. I still kind of hate this, but it's better now that I know I can hide. Man, have I missed it like three times somehow? I've looked at all the statues now.
Okay. Sorry, guys. Thanks for being patient. I didn't know I could hide. Um, I'm sure that was frustrating to watch, but I just straight up didn't know. Hyped yet scared of him finishing Steam World Quest. Just stopped to look at you, then gave up. Uh, let's just say the monster doesn't have very good peripheral vision. What is it? What time is it all for y'all? It's five o'clock for me, which means it's time for the stream to stop. But uh, so I'm gonna ask, how close to the end am I uh, for like an ending here? Stopped stock still in that tunnel earlier. You know, you know what's worse than uh, getting chased by a monster? Getting chased by a monster while you're trashed. Like that would suck. Also, it's raining inside the lighthouse. That doesn't seem right. 90% done. Okay, I, I will finish an ending. <laughs> ah. Real close, okay. God. Okay. Excuse me? Oh God, ouch! What am I doing? No, no. I don't know what I'm doing. Do I have like anything I can do here or am I just dying?
I've never gotten to this part of the game without getting that item, so I'm not sure what else to do. Ah. Uh, so I I got a bad ending, is what you're saying. What you're saying, Kevbo, is that there's no bad endings except the one I got. <laughs> It's just not the ending I got. <laughs> What do you think of the game? I think I... Be careful with him. I think I need to play this game again. The keeper is out of his mind. He drinks all the day and wanders around the island. Chasing that kid of him. He has forgotten who he is and why he's here. Soon he'll remember. Let's bring him back to the sanctuary. Is this me at the bottom of a blood pit or having been eaten or something? Death. I just got death. Oh no, I am dead. I really like the game. It's super super atmospheric. The story, at least as it is as it stands right now, is very incomprehensible. But this is definitely the kind of game you want to play a few times to understand fully what it's trying to say. It is a game I wouldn't mind playing again. I don't know if it would be something I would play every week until I like get all of the endings, but it's interesting. You washed up somewhere. <coughs> I'm sure I'm supposed to head towards the lighthouse, but I kind of am more drawn towards the graveyard. I have all the endings, I think. I can say this. Noob dabs 50 times. Dabs the hardest to dab with the power of a thousand suns. The power is unleashed by the dab, which is so blinding it just 
absolutely destroys everything in its in its wake. How long each replay is going to take? There's no way to save load, right? Uh, I don't think so, no. But, like, if the game is only an hour and a half long, then I don't mind playing it again. It won't be uh, as creepy the second time. There's only one really scary part, which is when you're getting chased by the monster. And, like, once I know it's coming, it won't be as bad. Oh, my dude. Don't you have it all up yet? Where's all the other ones? What? Oh no. I became the monster. This is good. So wh which lighthouse keeper am I on at this point? Am I leaving muck everywhere I go? Yes, I am. That's pretty. That's a really nice touch there, actually. It's because he never once took the crucifix off the wall and wandered around with it like I did. Am I- am I eating these sacks? What am I doing? You guys notice I'm also holding the lantern somehow? It's 
this a flashback or is this poor man's life a cy cyclical hell from which there is no escape? Shoes on the other foot now, buddy. And they took Joseph's coat and killed a kid of the goats and dipped the coat in the blood. And they brought it to their father and said, this, this have we found, know, know now whether it be thy son's coat or no. That's why the oil can, oil can was buried there. We're we going down here. Was I supposed to have a gun in this part? I keep not seeing him. A good hunter starves out the prey. assume I'm failing here. Damn it. know what I'm doing guys
I'm assuming he's gonna run out of bullets. Arrow cards, and I got death. Welcome to the Oblivion Chapel again. For the thousandth time, you and I have the same dream, human. Do not lie to yourself. You still have no right to change your own nature and can no longer obey the voice of a lord of his angels or his angels. You have failed the trial, as you will fail it again, and your sin is in defiling the sanctuary and false service, and poisoning your own mind. Only repentance will bring you peace. Where it all began, meet the restless who hover between life and death, and repentance is coming. In pursuit of yourself, remember who, are, who you are and what happened to your son, and repentance is coming. Where it all began, meet the restless who hover between life and death, and repentance is coming. This is repeating. I feel like I am deaf. The star. Well, I did get the star. Are these all the cards that I got in this game, in this playthrough? The Emperor. Big did it. I did it. The, the sound of the monster walking is a good beat to me. Clunk, 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 That's the ending I got. Oh, I see. So there are six endings. I can't move. Played both of the games called Call of Cthulhu. <laughs> what's your uh, what's your take on Eldritch Bot? I thought I thought that game was pretty Lovecraftian. One day I had a weird dream. In it, you and I are sitting at a table. Everything seems normal, but something is not right. In this dream, I see myself through your eyes. I am telling you something, but you are distracted and do not listen. Has someone come? No, nobody could. When you turn around, you notice that I have disappeared. You get up and go into the room because you know that I am hiding from... something? I missed that last word. As you walk, you try to remember what I told you. It's complicated. What was I telling you? It was something important. I told you that I had a strange dream, but you did not listen. In this dream, it was you, but you were not my son.
We're we're pretty much done, guys. You enter the room, but I am not there. There's an open book in the corner. There are a few words on the page. Oh, previous keeper disappeared. I have not played Eldritch. I recommend it. It's a kind of, it's a pretty challenging game. Okay, no one lives under the lighthouse. Interesting. Haunted PS1 community. Basic ending down, next endings to come. Plugins and assets. PSX retro shader. I'm gonna I'm gonna stop there. Um there is a level select. So there's a extra chapter that I didn't get because I didn't get the the big ending, whatever the not the good ending, the big ending. And look at it, the achievements. Oh good, moths. Oh, these are what I got. Oh, okay. So there's plenty more to do in this game. Sometimes there's only one way to get away from the darkness. Um, so I'm willing to come back to this game for sure, but definitely in a future stream. I'm actually gonna have to cut it, cut and run right there, guys. So um, thank you very much for joining me. Thank you, Bot, for uh, giving me No One Lives Under the Lighthouse. That was a really interesting game. I like it a lot. I, I want to come back to it. Maybe give it like one break and then do uh, not the next week, but the week after we can maybe try again. Uh, we'll do something different next week. 